identity and inverse matrices. We are given three matrices. A is a matrix of order 2 by 2. B is a matrix of order 2 by 2. And I is a matrix of order 2 by 2. This matrix I is an identity matrix. A and B are given matrices. We want to see if A and B are inverse to each other. So the definition is like if A B equals B A equals I, then A equals B inverse, or you can say B equals A inverse. They are inverse to each other. So we'll verify this one. So first we want to see what is A B. My A is the matrix 8, 3, 5, 2. B is the matrix 2, negative 3, negative 5, 8. So we need to multiply. So we go with the row, first row, first column. So 8 times 2 is 16, plus 3 times 5 is negative 15. So we write here negative 15. Then 8 times 3 is negative 24, plus 3 times 8 is 24. Now go with the second row now. So 5 times 2 is 10 minus 2 times 5 is 10 again. 5 times 3 is negative 15. 2 times 8 is positive 16. So we, when we simplify, we see that it is 1, 0, 0, 1. So we see this is identity. Now I need to check other way. So we have now B first, 2, negative 3, negative 5, 8, and A is 8, 3, 5, 2. So first row goes with first column, 2 times 8 is 16, and then negative 3 times 5 gives me negative 15. And then 2 times 3 is 6, negative 3 times 2 is negative 6, yeah. And then negative 5 times 3, sorry, negative 5 times 8 is negative 40, and then 8 times 5 is positive 40. 5 times negative, sorry, negative 5 times 3 is negative 15. 8 times 2 is 16. So when you simplify, you can see again, it is 1, 0, 0, 1. This is also identity. So that fulfills this condition. So the given matrices are inverse to each other. Suppose I have a matrix A. 8, 3, 5, 2. We want to find the determinant of this matrix. So we write like this. DET, determinant of A matrix. Or you can just say like this. Put a vertical bar on the left side, another on the right side. Okay, it should not be bracket, just a vertical line. And then multiply this way first, 16 minus off diagonal, 15. So the value of this determinant is 1. Now I'll show you how to find inverse of a 2 by 2 matrix using shortcut method. So the inverse of A will be simply like 1 over, first you take the determinant AD minus BC right here. AD minus BC. And then interchange your diagonal elements. D will be here, A will go here. B and C will stay with opposite sign. And we are done. This is the inverse. So I can give you a simple example. If you have a matrix A, say that you have 5, 4, 3, 1. So then you are finding inverse will be 1 over, multiply this way first. So 5 times 1 is 5, minus 3 times 4 is 12. And then interchange the diagonal elements. You put 1 here, 5 here. And then 4 will be negative 4, 3 will be negative 3. So that means you get this one is negative 1 over 7, which is scalar multiplication. You can put it inside. So negative 1 over 7 times 1 is negative 1 over 7. And that one will be 4 over 7. This will be 3 over 7, negative 5 over 7. And you are done.
this is the inverse singular matrix for example I'm taking a matrix B which is say that 3 5 3 5 is a matrix now if you find the determinant of B you can see that 3 times 5 is 15 minus 3 times 5 is 15 so it is 0 so then B is a singular matrix B does not have an inverse if you have a singular matrix you do not have inverse let us solve a simple question suppose that you are given a matrix B with entries 1 2 X 7 now we need to find X so that this matrix doesn't have inverse or it is a non it is a singular matrix so what do we do we find the determinant of B so determinant of B will be like this 1 2 x 7 so when you multiply cross you can get and it should be 0 if it is 0 that means B is singular matrix now multiply this so you get 7 minus 2 x is 0 then you can solve for x you get negative 2 x is negative 7 then x will be 7 over 2 